so from this first row from this from this first row i have written from this first row i have written alpha of 1 comma 1 comma 1 this is equal to 1 1 1 and 1 being the assignment for x1 x2 and x3 respectively okay so i have written for this first row alpha of 1 comma 1 comma 1 this is equal to 1 and from this fifth row alpha of 0 comma 1 comma 1 this is equal to 1 so for this fifth row i have written alpha of 0 comma 1 comma 1 this is equal to 1 from this sixth row alpha of 0 comma 1 comma 0 this is equal to 1 so i have written here that very alpha of 0 comma 1 comma 0 this is equal to 1 from this seventh row from this seventh row alpha of 0 comma 0 comma 1 alpha of 0 comma 0 comma 1 this is equal to 1 so for this seventh row i have written here alpha of 0 comma 0 comma 1 this is equal to 1 and for this fifth row alpha of 0 comma 0 comma 0 this is equal to 1 and i have written here that very alpha of 0 comma 0 comma 0 this is equal to 1 for this row 8 okay now look at this first row in each of this in this row each of these three variables boolean variables x1 x2 and x3 take the values 1 1 and 1 and the corresponding value of the boolean expression is 1 okay so x1 being 1 x2 being 1 x3 being 1 and the value of a boolean expression being 1 we are writing these expressions in for this first row a specific mean term that means the product of these three variables x1 x2 and x3 either in this product either of either each of these variable originally is present or its complement is present okay so here x1 x2 and x3 these three boolean variables are being one i have written alpha one of x1 x2 and x3 this is equal to x1 into x2 into x3 why specifically note that for the assignment of x1 x2 and x3 specifically 1 comma 1 comma 1 we shall have the value of the very boolean expression 1 what i have told now specifically or only when we shall consider the assignment for this three tuple point x1 comma x2 comma x3 as 1 comma 1 comma 1 only then we shall have the value of the very boolean expression which i have here defined as x1 into x2 into x3 each one otherwise or for any other assignment of this three tuple point x1 x2 and x3 the value of this boolean expression would be equal to zero i have written here that very then alpha one of 1 comma 1 comma 1 this is equal to 1 and alpha 1 of b1 comma b2 comma b3 this is equal to 0 for any assignment for any other assignment b1 comma b2 comma b3 which is not equal to this very assignment 1 comma 1 comma 1 and how many numbers of assignments there is possible you all know from this assignment table from this assignment table if you Keep this 1 comma 1 the remaining 7 assignments are possible you can check for any one of this you will have the value of the boolean expression alpha 1 as I have written here in this form would be equal to 0 okay similarly in the next row for which the value of the boolean expression is 1 we shall consider that very in this row 5 or fifth row fifth row for the value of x1 0 x2 1 and x3 1 we have the value of this very boolean expression alpha 1 look at this row carefully x1 is 0 x2 is 1 and x3 is 1 
So for this row, we shall have to write a mean term as we have written for this first row. For that very mean term, specifically for this assignment 0, 1, 1, the value of the very mean term which we shall define for this fifth row will be 1 and for any other assignment of this table the value of the very mean term would be equal to 0. Is it clear? So this is x1 is 0 and x2 is 1, x3 is 1. So carefully note how to write the very mean term. This is 0, 1 and 1. For this 0, we shall write the complement of the corresponding variables. That means x1 complement and x2 being 1, we shall write x1 complement into x2. And here x3 also being 1, we shall write x1 complement x2 into x3 as the mean term for this fifth row. Okay. Look at here. I have written to for row 5 alpha 2 of x1 x2 comma x3 the boolean expression or mean term as x1 complement into x2 into x3 and i have derived i have that alpha 2 of 0 comma 1 comma 1 this is equal to 0 complement into 1 into 1 this is equal to 1 and for any other assignment which is possible for this three tuple point x1 comma x2 comma x3 would be equal to 0 i have written here that very okay similarly for this row 7 for this row 7 for this row 7 the assignment of 